fantastic, Prism Overlord! I thought you were just some idiot, but you're actually really strong! <laughs> of course I am! I'm the strongest, most important, and most amazing Overlord in the universe! Oh, you're so cool, Mr. Overlord! <laughs> you really think so? Alright, I'll give it my all on behalf of Bicho! Come at me, fools! What the hell is cool about this clown? You're starting to worry me, Biko. Hmm. Between his looks and his brain, perhaps the presence of one is enough to highlight the absence of the other. Even his outfit exudes extraordinary levels of idiocy. His lack of intelligence goes without saying. He's clearly an idiot, no doubt about it. Stop calling me an idiot! I'm incredibly rude! You should show me more respect! <laughs> oh! Are you having fun, Biko? Yeah! Bubby has really funny friends. I'm glad Bubby got to travel with such nice people. Yeah, and from now on, so do you. Wonderful Overlord Ivar shall protect. That's my line, damn it! Just get out of here already! Forget about all that stuff, Biko. It wasn't your fault. You were a victim, too. But, but... Just forget about it, okay? Cerberus is the bad guy. It's all his fault. I don't know your reasons for doing all this, Cerberus. But I'm going to make you pay for hurting Biko. Where do you wish to go? <sighs> we finally found you, Cerberus! You're not getting away this time! Hmm? You think you've cornered me? The way I see it, things are all going according to plan. What? Tell me one thing, Zed. How exactly did you manage to get Biko back? I told you over and over that there was no way to do that. And I believed you the whole time. I always thought the only option was to kill Biko. But that lady told me I could save Biko if I destroyed the God of Destruction's core thing. Wait a minute! Who is this lady you speak of? Are you two-timing me, Prince Zed? Stop butting in! You're just gonna make this more complicated! The lady I'm talking about is the Legendary Witch. A Legendary Witch? You met her, Zed? Yeah. 
and learned how to save Biko during the final battle. Thanks for fighting at my side, everybody. I only managed to save Biko because of you. I can put an end to everything now. Rest in peace, Biko. With this, it's all over! Zed. Zed. You again? What do you want? Zed, if I told you there was a way to return Biko to her previous form, what would you do? What? Seriously? I'd do anything. I knew you'd say that. I am the one known as the legendary witch, Reliza. The legendary witch? I can only remain in this world a little while longer. But before I go, please listen. I will tell you how to save your sister. In return, will you hear my request? No free favors, huh? Whatever. Just tell me what you want. Thank you, Zed. Please stop him. You're the only one who can. I see. So you met her. You must really want to stop me, Eliza. I was ready to kill Biko and then die myself. But at the last second, I learned how to save her without having to kill her. When Biko told me about your betrayal, I wanted to rip you to shreds. But if I did, then everyone would just blame her for being the god of destruction. I needed to make sure the truth was brought to light. So I thought really hard about what to do. I realized that if I called you out in front of everyone at the Darkest Assembly, they would see that Biko was just a victim. Hmm. And here I thought you broke into the place because you were convinced it was Ivar. But it seems that was just an excuse to get me into that packed hall. You did quite well. Considering how rotten your brain is, I'm impressed you were able to set me up at all. I had to think so hard steam was practically coming out of my ears. But it was worth it to help Biko. How audacious of you to drag the Darkest Assembly and myself into your little spat! Hey, Serby? Why'd you do this? Will you please tell me? My answer remains the same. Even if I did explain my reasons, None of you would understand. Stay back, Biko. Just leave this to us. There's no end to them. This is no ordinary summoning spell, is it? Oh, you can tell. I'd expect nothing less from the Witch of the Abyss. These are failures in my quest to create a god of destruction. I didn't want my efforts to go to waste, so I'm reusing them. I can't believe you. Just how rotten are you, Cerberus? You're one to talk. The zombie's really going to call me rotten? Now! Biko! Cerberus! I won't let you hurt her again, you bastard! You left me no choice. I need to get my plan back on track after you forced it off the rails. Serby, I know you really are a nice person. But something really sad happened to you, right? That's why you're doing this. Hush now, Biko. Don't make this any more difficult. Stop right there, Cerberus! 
give Biko back, damn it! Biko's in danger! We must give Chase Zed! Duh! I don't need you to tell me that! Follow me, please. Give it up, Cerberus! Bubby! Let her go! I'll kill you! I'll tear you to shreds! Oh, that killer instinct, that murderous rage. I knew you had it in you. Perfect! There's a dead end up ahead. We've cornered that wretch, Zed. Your evil deeds end now, Cerberus. What a shame. I really wanted Prism Pup to be our mascot forever. That was never in the cards. said there was only one god of destruction. You mean to tell me you sacrificed someone else to create another one? Precisely. Curse fiend. I, Overlord Ivar, shall mete out your punishment. Cerberus, you... you stupid mutt! Cerberus. Hmm. I suppose a ragtag god of destruction can't defeat you, Lord. Enough already, you flea-bitten pile of crap! Let my sister go right now! Don't push yourself so hard, Zed. That garbage heap you call a body is falling apart. Shut up! As long as I kill you, I don't care what happens to me! What remarkable resolve. Oh, look at the time. I have preparations to make, so I'll be taking my leave. Stop! Where are you taking Vico? Why does it have to be her? If you need someone for your stupid plan, just use me! Now, now. Though it pains me to do this, Biko still has a vital role to play. I'll see you later, Zed. Give her back! Super reincarnation. Wait! Cerberus! Ah! That little mutt won't be forgiven for kidnapping Biko like this! He... He said super reincarnation, right? Indeed he did. Cerberus created the spell after all. It wouldn't surprise me if he could use it at will. Now 
that I think about it, hasn't Cerberus mentioned it before? Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. The god of destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. That's right. Cerberus has far more expertise than our comrade Zed when it comes to super reincarnation. But doesn't anyone else think it's weird? He used it without getting stomped by a god of destruction first. <laughs> Did he resort to bribery? No. If I had to guess, I'd say that death is nothing but a trigger for super reincarnation. The most important component is having a will that can supersede death. Perhaps even space-time. I see. Prince Zed wanted to save Vigo with all his heart, and that's why he was able to super reincarnate. Ah, uh, I'm so jealous. If only someone would love me that much. All right, things are looking grim. Come on, we need to hurry up and super reincarnate after him. Are you sure? If you do it again, won't you just fall apart? Don't worry about me. As long as Pico's happy, I don't need anything else. Prince said. Let's go! Super reincarnate. Wait, 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 wait! This is my first time super reincarnating! I won't give you a chance to be left behind, will I? Who oh, bears the thought? Shut up! Who gives a shit about you? Let's go! Super reincarnation! We did it! You succeeded, Prince Ed! Yeah. Wait for me, Pico. I'm coming. Previously on Disgaea 6. Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! The year was UC-6666. The Human World Defense Force and Planet Zed were locked in a fierce war. A space war? How utterly thrilling! Just who will my opponent be? Ha ha ha! The Red Peanut, a.k.a. Prism Red, a.k.a. Piori Nijino, reporting in! I'll work thrice as hard! <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Let's see what this Prism Red is capable of! Let's go! Prism Punch! Oh, that even my own father hit me before! For... Pico... The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus, a new story begins. Looks like we made it. Biko should be in this netherworld. <gasps> oh, thank the Overlord I managed to super reincarnate with everyone else. Oh, that must mean... Zed! Though you've constantly denied it, you've accepted me as a comrade! I haven't accepted you as anything! <laughs> it's no problem at all, you shy little rascal. 
More importantly, Prince said, how does your body feel? Are you in any pain? I have a headache, thanks to a certain stupid overlord. You mustn't push yourself too hard, and you needn't suffer in silence, understand? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Hang on, Biko. Bubby's coming to save you. <laughs>